would have thought that seven and a half years ago in a dingy bar in Brisbane <laughs> we would meet and that would be the start of our happy ever after. You're the most selfless person I know. Whether it's with family or friends, you're always happy to lend a hand. Thank you for how happy you make me every day. Thank you for always supporting me, for budgeting for the two of us. <laughs> for always making me laugh and always surprising me with your moves on the dance floor. And you are my everything, my one and only. I want you to know I do and always will love you. To M. I need to tell you a little story about Emily and the wedding dress. She invited me to go along with her to choose the dress and we went into the city for that first time. Well, she came out of the dressing room on that first day in the first dress and she stood in front of the mirror and I was speechless, nothing. Well, I cried, of course, and she looked, she just looked so beautiful. And then there were a sequence of memories of Em that ran through my mind from when she was little. You know, like you see in the movies. Surviving the infant diagnosis. The one more story every night before she went to bed. The Barbie dolls. And then the HSC triumph. And then the university highs and lows. And of course, meeting that boy from Boona. And there she was, standing in the mirror, looking in the mirror, in a wedding dress, and I thought, oh, oh my goodness, she's getting married. Actually, I cried when she came out of the dressing room for the next four times in the next four different dresses. And I remember her saying to me, Mum, are you going to be useful or helpful at any time today? It's funny, I remember the day Tom asked me to be the best man and I remember thinking, this is going to be great. This is going to be so much fun. I get to stand up front, look dashing in a new suit and all I have to do is say a few words about how awesome Tom is. Little did I know how difficult this one little task would be <laughs> when I have this to work with, my, my special little brother. So I started thinking about our childhood and what our relationship was like then growing up. Tom and I were close growing up. Our lives really did revolve around sport, whether it was ping pong and cards before school, or cricket, footy and stupid golf games in the Arvo. Literally anything that we could compete against each other in. Even though he spent a lot of time at uni having parties at Warren Street, he never lost sight of what was important to him, family, friends and study. On that note, Good luck Lancasters and Emily, Tom is now yours. <laughs> official BFFs for 14 years but um, I sat down to write the speech and it was not easy. Um, how do you put so many years of friendship into five minutes? Got it. <laughs> we met the way most five-year-olds meet through our mothers uh, who were friends when they went to school as well. And you have finally found an equal in life, someone who has the same work ethic, kindness and friendliness as you do. I'm so incredibly proud to be your best friend. And I love you so much. I, Thomas, take you, Emily, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honour you all the days of my life. I, Emily, take you, Thomas, to be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honour you. I will love you and honour you all the days of my life. 
So I ask that you now welcome into your families and friendships the new Mr. and Mrs. Emily and Thomas McGuinness. After 30 years of marriage myself, I suppose some advice, probably for Tom more so. You know, Tom, we do wear the pants in the family. Yeah. You, um, you learn quickly, but you get told which ones to wear. And then as you get older, they actually get laid out on the bed so you know which ones to wear. Thomas and Emily McGinnis. The only advice that I can give you in your marriage together is that marriage is like a partnership. It's not easy and you have to work at it. There will be good times and there will be bad, but I know you two have the capabilities of working through it. And also, Tom, I'd just like to say, happy wife, happy life. <laughs>